Hello friends, welcome to Expert Guidance and today we'll be covering in this video the topic of whole numbers. Now this is a very basic topic but again we have to cover that because at times easy topics it turned out to us making a silly mistake. So we need to make sure that we cover everything in this unit. So in this video we'll be covering the topic of whole numbers. How do you work out the place values? How do you add, subtract, multiply and divide and the bid mass or the board mass and some good problems with the whole number. Now, what are whole numbers? Whole numbers are counting numbers starting from zero. So if you see a number line, zero till the end, all the counting numbers are your whole numbers. Now, whole number, each digit has a position, okay? And place value is the position of a digit in a number. Now, this is a place value chart which starts from ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousands and millions. The last digit is the ones digit, the tens, the hundred, the thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So if the question comes in the exam, what is the place value of five? So five is ones, okay? The place value of one is tens. What is the place value of three? It is three hundreds. Two is two thousand. Eight is eighty thousand. And six is 600,000. So to work out the place value of any digit, the best way is to write that digit and then turn all the other digits to zero. So if the question comes, what is the place value of, let's say, two? So you write two and turns all the three numbers to zero. So 2,000 is the place value. Okay? And to convert it into words, it is 682,000. So you will read this together and this together, 350, okay? So I hope how to work out the place value is clear to you. Now let's do a question. This is a number given to you, 9358217. You need to work out the place value of one, five, eight, and two. Write the above number in words, and then you have to write the following numbers as digits, okay? So you can pause the video, and then come back and check the answer. Okay, so here we are. One is one and then replace the next digit with zero. So that is tens. Five is one, two, three, four, four zero. So that is 50,000. Eight is eight and three zeros, 8,000. Place value of two is 200. The above number in words would be, you add the comma after three places. So this is the thousands, this is the million. So 9,358,217 is the answer. Next is write 62,000. So the thousand terms is 62, and then the unit one is, three, five, uh, is 752. And 211,072 is how you will write that as digits. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. Next is ordering and comparing the whole numbers. So to order them, what do you do? Write all the whole numbers underneath each other so that all the ones, tens, hundred thousand, they come just underneath each other. And then you start comparing from the left. First of all, the number which has the least digits, least places will be the lowest number. And then if all the digits are the same, then you start comparing from the left. And to compare, you have this sign, which is the alligator. This is the greater than less than sign and an equal to sign now the best way to remember that open the mouth of the alligator in front of the biggest number okay so these are the two questions you can see 63 and 36 63 is bigger so mouth of alligator is on 63 okay so you can try these questions have a pause try these and come back okay so let's see so first i've written all these numbers and all these have six digits so i'll start with the one which has the lowest the first digit so one two three four five three followed by two double one then three two six two so this is my increasing order in this there are three digits to the left five digits to the right so definitely my right number is bigger so alligator is here here both the numbers are same it's an equal to sign again to compare i'll first count the digits so one two three four five six six digits to the left five to the right so left is bigger in the last one they both have four digits so i'll start comparing the first number from the left, three and four. So since four is bigger, this is my bigger number. So this is the best way of ordering, 
okay now let's come to adding so to add the whole numbers write the numbers underneath each in the same place value and then add the columns start adding from the units and always write the unit and carry over the tens so for example if you have six five two one four seven one we'll start with two plus one it is three then we'll add seven and five which is twelve so we always write the unit so we'll write two carry over the one six at four is ten and one is eleven okay so i hope this column addition is clear to you now have a go at these two questions three seven two plus forty five triple nine plus triple seven and then you have a word problem where david spent five hundred dollars on room rent three fifteen entertainment and two ninety nine in shopping you need to work out the total expense okay so pause the video try these questions and let's look at the answers so 372 and 45, I have written units underneath units and tens underneath tens. And I start adding from the units place. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 at 4 is 11. I write the 1, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. Triple nine plus triple seven, write underneath each under the same place values. Nine and seven is sixteen, write six, carry the one. Nine plus one, ten at seven is seventeen. Seven, carry the one. Nine plus one, ten at seven is 17 so the answer would be 1776 then for the david expenses it is 500 plus 350 plus 290 add the 9 9 at 5 is 14 carry the 1 8 10 11 so 1149 is the total expense now to do the subtract again we'll do the column method start taking away the from the right but if you encounter any column where the top number is less than the bottom number then you carry one value from the neighboring number like from seven we have taken one and this makes the five to be 15 and seven becomes 16. so now we can do the subtraction three minus one is two 15 take away nine is six and then six take away four is two okay so i hope this is clear to you now you need to subtract 299 from 900 and then you have a word problem that david spent 500 dollars in room rent 315 entertainment and 299 in shopping and if he earns three thousand dollars how much he saves okay so you can pause the video try these questions and then come back to the answers okay so let's look what are the answers for this question now for this question, 900 take away 299. Now, my first number zero cannot be taken away from nine. So I'll borrow it from the next digit. But my next digit itself is zero. So I'll borrow it from the next to zero, which turns into eight. And that donates its one number to zero. That becomes 10. Now, 10 now donates its one number to the neighboring number, and it becomes 10 take away 9, which is 1. 9 minus 9 is 0, and 8 take away 2 is 6. Next question, we'll add up all the expenses of David. We just did in the last question. That came up to be 1149, and now we will take away 3,000. From 3,000, we'll take 1149. Now, 941 cannot be taken away, so we'll borrow one digit from 3. That makes this as 10. 10 donated one number to the neighboring. That makes it 10. Then it donates again to this. So 10 take away 9 is 1. 9 take away 4 is 5. 9 take away 1 is 8. 185. So it means he saves 185. So I hope this is clear to you. Now let's move on to multiplication. For the multiplication, you have this column method. You first multiply the units of the bottom digits with top two. Then you start with a new line, but make sure that in the units you put a zero and then start multiplying the next line and then add the two. Okay, so let's try this question. 305 multiply by 39. Now first multiply 9 with 5. Then 0 and 3, I get 2745. Then I'll start with a new line, but make sure the units number has a 0 and a cross. And then I'll start multiplying 3 with these numbers. I'll get 915. I'll add the 2 and I'll get 11, 11, 11, 8, 9, 5 is an answer. Now, there's a word problem. A pack of pen costs $20. I bought 22 packs. How much total I pay? So I'll do 22 times 20, and that gets $440 as the answer. 
Now for the division, there's a bus stop method and you need to do how to do this long division. Now for the long division, the rule is first you divide the digit and right at the top, how many times that number comes in this number times table, then multiply, subtract, carry down the next number and again, start the whole process. So for example, this was given to you as 4284 divided by nine. Now, when you do 4284 divided by nine, the four doesn't go into the nines times table. So you put zero. Now you start with 42. The 42 does not go in the nine times table, but nine times four thirty six is the nearest number to 42 that goes into nines times table. So we'll write four here. So how many times? It's four. Then multiply, nine take away four is 36. Nine times four is 36, now subtract. 42 take away 36 gives six. Then drop down the next digit, which is 68. Now we got the next digit, we'll again start the process. Does 68 go into nine times table? No, but any number near to 68, that is 63, which goes in how many times? Step one, seven times, all right. Seven, 68. Take away 63, that gives me 4. Uh, that gives me 5. Then I'll drop 4. Now 54 goes into 9, 6 times. 9 times 6, 54. Take away, I'll get 0 as an answer. So the answer is 476. Okay, so I hope this bust up method is clear to you. Now you need to try these two questions. 1590 divided by 30. And next is I have 4550 boxes, which I need to divide in between 50 people, how much each will get. Now 1590 divided by 30, again, one doesn't go in, five doesn't go in, but 159, the nearest number is 150, which goes five times. So 30 times five, 150, I take that away. I got the remainder nine, I drag the zero. Now 30 times three is 90, zero, so the answer is 53. Now if I have four, five, five, zero boxes, then what I'll do, I'll divide it into 50 people. So 450 is the nearest number. So 50 times 9 is 450. Remainder 5, drag the 0. 50 times 1 is 50. So each one will get 91 boxes. So I hope this division is clear to you. Now the last thing we need to do is, what if that in one question you have been asked to do? Divide, multiply, plus together. So what do you have to do? You have to follow the mid mass. You will first do the brackets. After brackets, you'll be seeing if there's any power, roots, or indices which is off or I, which is indices. Then you do division and multiplication, whichever you want, and addition and subtraction is the next, okay? Now, let's start this question. 24 divided by six plus three into five. So first of all, we'll always do the bracket. So 25 divided by six is four. Then we can do the multiplication. Three times five is 15, and that gives us the answer to be 19. Okay, next question, we'll always do, there's no bracket, but there's an indice, so we'll do the indices and then multiply and then divide. So two cube is eight, multiply by five, divide by eight, so that is 40 divided by eight, which is five. And this question, we have the indices and the brackets all together. So first, let's do the bracket, which gives us five, then do the indices, which gives us nine, then multiply, which gives us 16, and then we can add all these numbers, and that gives 30 as an answer. So you need to remember the order of the bit mass. So I hope now adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and bit mass is clear to you. Now let's do the word problems. Now, here is your rate chart that a storybook is $25, fiction book is $35, science book is $65, and novel book is $80. George bought three storybooks, 10 fiction books, nine science books, and two novel books. Work out the total cost. Lena has $1,000. How many novel books can she buy with that amount? And Carl has $100, and he bought two fiction and a storybook. How much money he has left now? So you can pause the video, do adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, come back, and check the answers. Now for the first question, for George, three story books is 25 times 3, which is 75. 10 fiction books is 35 times 10, which is 350. 9 science book is 9 times 65, which is 585. And 2 novel books is 80. Then we add up all that, so 1170 is a total bill for George. Now if Lena has $1,600 and each book is for $80, you'll divide 1600 by 80 by the bust up method. And he will get 20 as an answer. So you can buy 20 books with that amount. 
Now, first, for the next question, Carl, let's work out how much total he spent. For so two friction berg, he spent seventy dollars, and storybook is sixty. Uh, for storybook, he spent twenty-five. So total, he spent ninety-five dollars. He had hundred dollars, so he has five dollars left with that. Okay, so I hope this whole numbers concept is clear to you. As always, do check the specification. Make sure you have covered everything in this topic. And do not forget to do exam questions on this topic. The link for questions and worksheets on this is mentioned in the description box below. If you still have any problem in this topic, leave a comment below and we'll reply you. Or you can come to my website where you can post all your queries as there's a 24 seven chat support and get instant reply. Or you can come and join my free Facebook group for GCSE and A-level maths and science student where you can post all your queries and get tips and tactics to get A-stars. And also do not forget to follow me on Instagram at expertguidance where I share with you daily doses of exam tips, tricks and the revision notes. So I'll see you next in my next video. Till then, and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do like, comment and share this video and do click on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I post the next video. So I'll see you next in my next video. Till then, happy revising.